In this video, we will learn how to column add and remove in Outlook. So let's start this my Outlook. Here you see the Outlook view of emails. So here you see the from subject received. These are the column in Outlook view. Received size, categories, mention and flag. These are the column. This column you can remove it and you can add it different column in here to see the your email view. So let's start how it's done. Just go to the view tab. And in arrangement group here, you see the add columns option. Just click on it. When you click on it, the add columns, you see the one dialog box, show columns. Here the mention, the maximum number of lines in compact mode two. Here you see the two line is show of your email view. Okay. So your email show the two lines. Okay. So, and next is a select available columns prompt. There is a some option. You can use the different columns. So, frequently used field. You can select the column from the frequently used fields. You can select the column from address fields also, date and time fields, all documents fields. There are number of uh, so many fields available here. So, you select it and choose your column. Those you want to see in your email views. So I just select the frequently used field. In frequently used field, available columns is these are auto forward is CC, contacts, conversation created. These are the available columns you can add in your email view. So and here you see the show these columns in this order. This column is already show in your emails. So let's check it is first is the important this is the important sign. And second is a reminder sign here you see. Third is the icon and fourth is the attachment. So and then from, from subject, then the receipt and size, categories, mention, and last is the flag status. These are the column is already show in your emails view. So if you want to add and remove something, you can easily add and remove it. So here you see, I just add one. To add the column, just click on the those you want to add the column. Just I click the create it and click here the add option. When you click the add option, the create is added here automatically. Now I want to set the order something. I want to set in last this created column. So here you see the option move up and move down. When you move down, the created column is automatically moved down. If you want to set the move up, you can set in move up. Okay. Uh, these are the way you can set the orders of column. And first add the column and then set. If you want to change the order of any other column, so just select the column and click on the move down and move up where you want to set the column in order so these are the way you can add the column if you want to remove the column just select the column and click on the remove column the column is automatically removed okay if you want to add your new column you just create the one column in your end so here you have option new column just click on the new column option add the i just enter the g and text in here you see the number and just click on the ok here you see the g is added if you want to move down just move down if you want to up you can up it this this is a way you can add remove and add the new column in outlook so let's see how, how it's set in this email view so i just click on ok when you click on OK, here you see the G column I added new here. Here show it. If you want to remove, just click go to the add columns. Select the G and click on the remove and click on the OK. That's it. Here you see G column is removed. So this is a way you can add and remove column in Outlook. Hope you understand. If you like this, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.